There is so much talk out there about antioxidants. Antioxidants are good for you. These foods have antioxidants. Make sure you're eating your antioxidants. Now, if you're like me, understanding the why can help encourage you to do. So why are antioxidants good for you? Well, they destroy the free radicals, duh. <laughs> okay, but what are free radicals? That's the real question here. So free radicals are unstable or uncharged molecules. Now, we talked about oxygen in our elements video. You can watch that here. Now, oxygen likes to be paired with something. So when you have one single oxygen atom, it wants to just grab and cling on to whatever it can. And this can damage our cells. Now, since our cells not only make up our body, they also control our body. So damaging cells can really lead to dangerous illnesses or can even cause aging. Yes, free radicals speed up aging. To sum it up, antioxidants destroy the free radicals that destroy our cells. So antioxidants are like the superheroes of our bodies. So vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, and selenium, which is actually a mineral, but we can talk about that in a different video. Now these are great antioxidants, and they can be found in fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. You know, the natural stuff. Here is a list of all the foods that are high in antioxidants. You can also find this list down below. These are some things that you want to try fitting more into your diet. Now, if you're picky or if you have kids, I know I was a picky child, sorry mom, you can try some delicious smoothie recipes where you can mix this all in and make it taste nice and fruity and sweet. Now, veggie pizza is also really nice because you can have a whole grain crust or a healthy alternative. You also have the tomato paste or sauce, and you have veggies on top of your pizza. So this can have a lot of antioxidants, if you make it right. You can try trail mix and oat cereals. You can even add dry or fresh fruit to them. Now, if you're wondering if your favorite food or drink is high in antioxidants, there's a test that you can do at home. Just use simple apple slices or potato slices and put them in with different foods or drinks. See how long it takes for them to brown. Just keep in mind that whatever you try, make sure that you have a control. This has nothing else around it so that you know the apple slices and potato slices are browning on their own. And try to have at least one fruit, at least one vegetable, and at least one whole grain. But the options are endless. Here is my control. As you can see, it browned a little bit and it even dried out quite a bit. Next, we have a bean and rice mix. So this was my whole grains. Then I also did a little bit of sugar, which surprisingly, that did not brown as much as I thought it would. Sugar is not good for you. I also tried squash, yellow squash. Um, but as you can see, that turned out pretty brown as well. The most delicious white crisp apple ended up being the lemon. And lemons are known to be very high in antioxidants, so I think my results are correct. Try your favorite foods and drinks and let us know down below, is your favorite food a superhero? Are you a superhero? It's so easy to just do something kind. And that simple act of kindness can go a long way. Look up and smile at someone walking by. Leave a nice comment on someone else's post. Hold the door. Say please. Say thank you. Don't steal, don't cheat, and don't lie. And always stay humble and kind. You can listen to this song using the link below. So guys, I will see you next time. Bye.